But once again, I want to welcome everybody to the Houston Business Roundtable 2010 Safety Excellence Award Training. I'm James Bergeron with BP. Um, for the newcomers in here, I want to kind of sum it up a little bit because to make sure it was, it was really clear of some of what John and John already talked about. Um, the contractor information sheet that John just spoke about, also the uh, safety award initial evaluation form. Those two documents have, have to be sent in with the actual disk, right? Everybody caught that earlier. That has to be sent in with the disk with your programs, all right? Uh, those programs for every company, we said there was, what, 70-something companies and 130-something companies that was actually nominated. What we're going to do is what I like to call the short audit, and I'm going to talk about the form. This is the actual audit form we're going to utilize to determine who are going to be considered the finalists out of all those companies. Ru Mr. Russell Kleingordner is going, to, is going to talk a little bit more in depth about the actual field audit process, which is a, a much more in-depth audit, where we actually go in and, and, and do a desktop and, and a field audit. And Russell's going to talk about that in a minute. Contractor safety rating form, initial evaluation form. So those programs that you actually, um, that you actually sent in to, to HBR, we're going to have a team of the team leads, the mentors and others, we're going to sit down and actually evaluate those documents to figure out who are, who, who are going to be the actual finalists. And that's going to be done on February 2nd. This particular form is made up of nine sections. It's uh, fatalities. The OSHA incident rate for lost workday cases, OSHA incident rate for total recordable injuries and illnesses, and documented safety policies, procedures, accident incident investigation procedure, self audit program, orientation and training program, best practices, and year to year improvement. So this is the documentation you're going to actually going to be turning in. Remember, on a disc, with with those other two forms, two HBR. The very first section is fatalities. This is kind of how the scoring happens, right? As you can see, if you haven't had a fatality, you can actually put a 10 in the score box times 20 with a possible points of 200. If you actually had a fatality, you have to enter zero. I will say if your company's had a fatality, it's going to be really hard for you to be a finalist. We have a lot of good companies this day and time that do a really excellent job. If a company actually has a fatality, it's going to be really hard for you to actually be a finalist. Section two is the OSHA lost workday case, um, self-explanatory. It's another <coughs> scoring system based on your LCWR and the scoring system times 15 possible points, 150. Section three is your OSHA TRR, same thing. Depending on what your rate is, is what the score is with a possible points of 150. Section four, documented safety policies and procedures. Um, same thing. We actually go in and we look at your company safety policies, HASCOM, uh, without the MSDSs, uh, bloodborne pathogens, et cetera. These are the programs you actually submitted. We're going to go in and evaluate them. And as you can see, there's a scoring of a four for outstanding, three above average. Uh, we apply that times 20 with a possible score of 80 points. Section five, accident incident procedures. <coughs> Same thing, possible high scores of four for outstanding, three above average. Score max is 80 points. Section six, safety audit program. Same thing, max score, 80 points. Orientation and training program. Max score, 80 points. Section eight, best practices. Max score, 40 points. Once again, and I know Russell is going to spend a little bit more time on it in a little bit, best practices is very, very important. Many times when this data is, is actually submitted to us, it's really hard for us to pull out what your best practices are. So when this data is actually submitted, make sure you point that out. Make sure you have bullet items and you can explain it and you show what your best practices are. Same thing with the audit and the field audits. You need to make it stand out. You need to make sure you, it's, it's out in front of us so we can actually identify it. Because a lot of times we can't pull that information out of your data. And uh, this is a very important section. Because sometimes best practices makes or breaks you as far as uh, being a finalist or actually a category winner, right? So best practices is very important. And year-to-year -year improvement, your company, make sure that's well identified, year-to-year -year improvement. What did you do last year? What did you do this year? 
paint that picture, whether it's your OSHA rates, lost time rates, uh, the hours, whatever that looks like. Uh, some of your best practices, things you've implemented, I mean, make sure it jumps out at us. Possible points, 40. At the bottom of this particular form, as you can see, we add it up and we get a total score with a max uh, possible of 900. We normally pick the top three categories, the top, I mean, top three companies within that category. So we, we have, what, seven categories, and we may have 12, 14, 15 companies in that one category, and we sit down and we look at all them programs and processes, right? And the top three normally stands out that these companies are going to be the actual finalists. <coughs> if it's something that's really close, we've audited it up to four companies, okay? So when they were saying it's real important to have your information very organized and everything in place, it's very painful when we sit down and it's not organized or your disk is not working because we have to look at 12 to 14 companies in a day. And it takes six, seven hours to sit down and look at all this information. And, and we want to give you the credit for it, right? So you really have to do a good job to make sure it's organized. That way the team leads, or we can sit down and look at it, and we, we can give you the highest scores possible. Because that's what it's about. We're, we're there, we're here to score you high, and that's what we want to do. But it's really in your hands when you hand it over to us. You know, we can't go back and say, hey, I need this information. It is what it is. So when you turn it over, make sure your disk's working, make sure everything's organized, and we have all your information, and you really do a good job at presenting it to us when you, when you hand it over to Melissa. So that way, when we have it, so we can score you high. Can't emphasize on that enough. <coughs> Any questions? Yeah, question. You, you stated this, but just in the previous uh, presentation, he said it could be a hard job. So yes. Is it either or? or either or. Be a either or. Okay. Either or. A lot of times when they hand over disc, though, the disc doesn't work. And, and we have a hard time with that. But a disc is great. I like disc as long as it's working. The hard copy is great, too. Make sure it's tabbed out. Like I said, make sure this information's in there. It's all tabbed out. It's organized and uh, user friendly. Yes, sir. Make sure they're moving on the CDs and finalizing the CDs. Take it from that computer to another computer. Make sure it opens. Absolutely. Check and double check. He said, basically, if you have a CD and you think it's right, take it on another computer or two and, and double check it and make sure it's actually working. Yes, ma'am. And also, it's been helpful to put a little instruction sheet that will have all the things to go to this and then press this and then make sure you close everything. Be able to open it. Uh, Absolutely. So she's saying, uh, actually, on the disk itself, if you have an instruction sheet that tells you what to open and what to close. Uh, that, that's very helpful. But sometimes when you open a CD, when you open it up, there's tons of folders. And we're in there, we're searching and we're looking. So make sure your CD is organized also. And if you think we need a little bit of instructions, make it dummy proof. Give us some instructions. Anybody else? All right. Thank you all.